Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of the hip hop world. Uh, platinum artist Jay Z, protege Memphis Blee, says that he feels that one group came to creating, recreating the Rockefeller wave. Now again, Memphis Blee, who has songs like "Round Here" and "Is That Your Chick" and all those other different, you know, uh, record chart songs, says that the ASAP Crew, ASAP Rocky, and Ferg, and all the other ASAP members was the closest thing to creating a wave. And he put, "I can't front; they was all shaking." Now listen, I'm not too much older than ASAP Crew, or we might all be around the same age, honestly, the same age. And while they did have a movement, stop. Let, let's be honest. Get out of here. Respectfully, Memphis Bleak. Now, again, I get it. You know, you're going to show love. They all, they was from New York. You know, ASAP Rocky got kids with Rihanna, and he set for life. And ASAP Ferg has, has, has been a, a key figure in the hip-hop game. But let's be honest. No. And I'm going to tell you why. You know, and some of y'all might think I'm biased, but come on now. Y'all, especially people in my group, y'all know what I'm talking about. Even uh, my older audience. When Rockefeller came out, everybody wanted to be like The Rock. They had the record label, of course. They had Rockefeller films like Paid in Full, Paper Soldiers, which put uh, Kevin Hart on and then Death of the Dynasty. You know, several other movies, but, you know, State Property, all of that. And then they had the clothing line. Now, I'm from the Midwest. Everybody wanted to rock rock wear. Everybody. They was one of the, the, the key brands. Them, Sean John, uh, Fat Farm. So, they had clothes. And I remember, you, you wore a Rockefeller shirt to middle school. You was the man. They even had fake Rockefeller Rockerwear chains and Rockefeller chains. That's another thing, the emblem. When you think of Rockefeller and you think of that emblem, you think of everything. That that might that emblem might be the most famous emblem out of all of them. Out of Cash Money, out of No Limit. Uh, I think Murder Inc. had an emblem too. Out of all of them, Rockefeller has the logo. And you had players. Y'all remember, they were the ones who threw up the diamond. You would see NBA players dunk, run down the court, throw up the diamond. You would see other artists throw up the diamond. Everybody who was anybody wanted to be part of Rockefeller. I didn't see that with the ASAP crew. And again, I'm not taking nothing away from ASAP Rocky. But come on now, Kanye West, Cameron, with Cam signed to the Rock. Yes, Cam had a deal, and I had Cam out before The Rock. But when him and Dips had signed to The Rock, and Dips had had their own wave outside of Rockefeller. Then you had Memphis Bleak, and you had the whole State Property crew. So you had Kanye, State Property, Dipset. You had Jay-Z, Memphis Bleak. At one point, they had old ODB, and I think Nori was on the label. At one point, they had everybody, but... You know, they had many artists. And then you see, you even had artists. I think Twister was part of the rocker. He had some type of management deal. You would see people that wasn't even Rockefeller artists wearing chains. Even to this day, to this day, when artists get a Rockefeller chain, even though the record label no longer exists, it's more important in the hip-hop culture than winning a Grammy. When Jay, when Jay give you a chain, that's like winning a championship. And you see these people are in their 40s and 50s wearing Rockefeller chains. Jay got everybody. I believe Fat Joe was signed under Rock, Rock Nation management. Timberland was under Rock Nation management. Uh, Wale and Meek Mill and so on and so on. I just name names all day. J. Cole and all of that. But when The Rock, I remember when The Rock broke up, man. I thought my world came to an end. I'm going to keep it real. Because, I yes, I remember Pac and Bad Boy, but it was nothing like The Rock. Oh, my bad. I'm tripping Young Guns. Come on now. Can't stop one stop. When you think of ASAP Mob, you think of the name, but I don't see people talking about what happened with the ASAP crew. It's so it, the, the Rockefeller meant so much to people that people still ask Damon Dash and Jay Z if they were ever to get an interview with him. Why did y'all break up? And they broke up in 2004, 2005. That's how much they meant to people. So again, did they have a wave? Sure. I'm not taking that from them, but were they going? Were they going to recreate anything like The Rock? 
Absolutely not because nobody could. Rockefeller, Jay a Dame, and Biggs, they caught lightning in a bottle that will more likely never be recreated again. Because I'm not just talking about records, I'm talking about everything. And matter of fact, they property had their own clothing line out as well. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think. <laughs>